Hi, it's Mike Stevenson again here. So this second video about Logic App um, Config Management for Development and DevOps. Um, we're going to take a look at two pipelines. So the first video is going to be about this first pipeline here where we took the solution we looked at before and we had, um, so if I open that in Visual Studio, you can see we had um, three settings to worry about. So we had one that's specific to this, um, just this solution one that's a common set and, and one that comes from Key Vault and we, we saw we had references to them here so here we're going to have a quick look at how it's slightly different on the um, on the DevOps service. The first thing is the, the solution specific setting I'm going to run it from a variable just in the pipeline um, and that, that's fine I'm going to set that here. The second thing is um, when I've got um, in DevOps you can have these library of common settings so here I've got a, a library set up which um, I can specify so I've put my mockery URL here so this lets me have a different library for each environment so I could have like build test production or something else and I just build up this library of common settings here makes it easy to change them in one place now back in my pipeline um, what I can do is um, I so we'll let this come up. So I've got my local variable is a pipeline variable. Next off, I've got um, variable groups. So here I've added a linked variable group, which is a reference to those common settings in DevOps. And that means these will get imported every time my build runs and it'll use them as pipeline variables. I'm then going to point to Key Vault. So um, now just a point to note here, you can import Key Vault keys into a library. I don't really like that approach. I think it's it's one where sometimes I've seen that those settings aren't always refreshed. So I like just putting the key vault task here and just point to my key vault. That'll import them. I've then got this task here, which really just shows you the build um, variables so you can see what they are and um, see which variables were added to the pipeline. It doesn't show you the secret values, but at least you know the variables there. We then use this replace tokens task, so I'm going to just point to my folder where my logic, logic app's in, point to the JSON files. I always just put the prefix and the suffix as double underscore, so it'll look for any variables that it finds in the pipeline with these prefix and suffix and replace them with the value. So back in our logic app, that's going to find the mockery URL and it's also going to find the key vault secret and replace them because they'll all be pipeline variables. Then after that, it's going to do the ARM deployment. So here I'm just going to point to the logic app JSON and the parameters template file. Um, so notice the difference from the previous video. The PowerShell created a dev temp, uh, file from from logic app dot parameters, and then it deployed it this time. We're going to replace them parameters with um, key vault and um, library stuff, and we're going to deploy the template so we can run that this pipeline should now run so we just give this a second so see this is now getting our key vault stuff and if we check the, uh, the build variables here it's quite an interesting useful little task this one so you'll notice it, it shows you the variables now a lot of them aren't sensitive so we can look for our common setting one so we can see um, common setting mockaroo URL so we've got that one here and then we should also see our key vault one which was um, this one here so note that the, the secret underscore it puts in the front that that's something that the um, task just does but when you reference the variable you just need that bit but you can see it's it's sort of hidden because it's a secret one so we replace the tokens and you can see we had a bunch of tokens got replaced here um, in the in the config so it replaced them for us it did the deployment and we can now go back to the Azure portal and we should see So you can see, for example, our setting got set here from the, the pipeline variable, and the others came from 
key vault end thingy anyway so you can see they they got set um as before so dead easy pipeline you can and the thing is with this pipeline as well what's really handy is that approach is really quite reusable so that pipeline will pretty much work for all of your logic apps um just do it, it you know get the pipe get the variables you want into the pipeline through key vault or the library do replace token on the json and then just deploy it job done nice and simple